Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Before this, you have learned about the acidic, alkaline and neutral substances. So let's do this activity in your activity book. Pages 72, 73, 74 and 76. Let's start. Page 72. As usual, you need to write the date here. The title is Properties of Acidic Substances. Okay. Let's read the instruction. Conduct three tests on the following substances to determine their acidic properties. Record the observations in the table below. So you need to use uh, tamarind juice, tea and also soy sauce. Juice asam jawa, air teh dan juga kicap. Okay, steps. Test 1. Test the substances mentioned above with both red and blue litmus papers. So for this column, test 1, you need to use litmus paper and record the color changes. Test 2, taste a small amount of each substance with your tongue. Okay, for this column, test 2, awak perlu rasa menggunakan lidah. And test 3, touch each substance with your fingertips. Test 3, Sentuh menggunakan hujung cari. Okay, as we know, acidic substance will turn the blue litmus paper to red. And the red litmus paper stays the same. Tamarind juice. Red litmus paper stay the same. Blue litmus paper turns to red. Test 2. You need to taste a small amount of this tamarind juice. It might taste sour. And for test 3, here we're going to sentuh tamarind juice. Okay, mungkin uh, it may feel, it may feel uh, quite slippery. So you write your answer here. And then tea. Red limus paper will stay red. And the blue limus paper will turn to red. Test 2. This tea, it might taste bitter if the tea is uh, without sugar. And then you need to touch this tea for test 3. Soy sauce. Red limus paper will stay red. Blue litmus paper turns to red. Test 2. The soy sauce may be sweet or salty. And you need to touch the soy sauce. It may be quite slippery. And then... General properties of acidic substances. Okay, sifat-sifat umum yang ada pada bahan yang berasid. Change in the color of the litmus paper. So the acidic substances will turn the blue litmus paper to red. Taste. Usually it tastes sour. And then touch. Maybe some of the acidic substances have this burning sensation. Okay, this is the general properties of acidic substances. Can we determine the properties of acidic substances only by tasting and touching? And why? Okay, you must give reason. No, because sour substances are not always acidic. Then, let's go to page 73, Properties of Alkaline Substances. Okay, you need to read the instruction as usual. 
and then look at the substances that we need. Okay, this is uh, alkaline, slake lime solution, mustard leaf juice, and papaya leaf juice. Okay, the steps here are all the same. Okay, langkah-langkah dia sama macam tadi. The first column you use the litmus paper. And then uh, test 2, you need to taste. And test 3, you need to touch. Okay, as we know, alkaline substances will turn the red litmus paper to blue color. And the blue litmus paper stays blue. Okay, let's look at this. Slake lime solution. Right, will it turn to blue? And the blue litmus paper stays the same. And then test two. Bitter. Okay, slake lime solution is a larutan kapur sirih. Okay, test three. When you touch, it may feel quite slippery. And then mustard leaf juice. Red litmus paper turns blue and blue litmus paper stays blue. Papaya leaf juice. Oh, sorry. Okay, test two. Okay, test two. It tastes bitter. And test three, when you touch this juice, it may feel slippery too. And papaya leaf juice. Red litmus paper will turns blue, blue litmus paper will stays blue. And then same also, test 2 and test 3. You write your answer. General properties of alkaline substances. Okay, sifat-sifat umum bahan beralkali. Change in the color of litmus paper, red to blue, and then taste. Okay, usually it tastes bitter. And when we touch, it feels slippery. Can we determine the properties of alkaline substances only by tasting and touching? And why? Okay, no, because bitter substances are not always alkaline. Okay, for example, Coffee. Coffee tastes bitter, but it is not an alkaline. Coffee is acidic substances. So, we cannot determine the properties only by tasting and touching. And then, properties of neutral substances. Okay, properties of neutral substances. As we know, there are no change in the color of litmus paper for neutral substances. Okay, blue will stay blue, red will stay red. So here we have a salt solution, larutan garam, and then a sugar solution, larutan gula and mineral water. Okay, that's one. Red will stay red and blue will stay blue. That's two. When you taste the salt solution, it tastes salty. And when you touch the salt solution, it may feel um, coarse. Okay, kasar. And then sugar solution. Red and blue. Sweet and also when you touch, it feel coarse. And mineral water, red and blue. And it is tasteless. And also slippery. General properties of neutral substances change in the color of litmus paper. So there is no color change. And then taste. Usually, it is tasteless, uh, sweet, or salty. 
and when we touch sometimes it feel quite slippery or coarse can we determine the properties of neutral substances only by tasting and touching and why no because we may not get the accurate result only by tasting and touching And then page uh, 76, uses of acidic and alkaline materials in daily life. Complete the sentences below with examples of acidic or alkaline materials that are used daily. Okay, ni ialah bahan-bahan yang kita guna seharian. Okay, number one, Yusuf takes care of his teeth by brushing with toothpaste which is alkaline in nature. Okay, usually toothpaste is alkaline. And then number two, Pak Rosli spreads agricultural lime, which is alkaline onto the raised vegetable beds to reduce the acidity of the soil. And then number three, Alia's mother applies vinegar which is alkaline on her cheeks as first aid for a whilst sting and then number four mud city rubs her hands with this is a maybe lemon which is acidic to remove the slippery sensation after bleaching her clothes Okay, so that's all. I hope you can complete the exercises in your activity book.